Hello everyone, I'm starting the vlog at the airport because, as I mentioned in my last vlog, I am going to France. And if I didn't explain in the last vlog, I am going to France with Coda Lee, which is just a dream. In fact, I think in one vlog I actually said, one day I will go to France and visit like the vineyards of Coda Lee. And this is just a good reminder that if you really want something in life, just keep saying it, keep repeating it, and keep working for it because it's gonna come eventually. So um, I've just sat myself down here in just a quiet area. I've got some water and I'm gonna do a little bit of work. Um, I've got three hours. I got through security so fast. It was like I got dropped off here and within 10 minutes I was through security. Um, so if you're Canadian, consider spending an extra little bit and taking a different airline other than Air Canada because last time we flew with Air Canada, again, we made our flight but it was just like a hot mess with security and customs and not fun um so yeah anyways i'm gonna sit down do some work and um yeah very excited for this vlog so i hope you guys enjoy what's to come uh because i sure am super excited <laughs> just to give you a little bit of a tour of the hotel room so we've got a little snack bar with some um a kettle and a coffee maker we'll absolutely be having tea before bed and then over here we have a beautiful kind of living room area i already spotted the wine we've got a beautiful bottle of wine we'll have to drink this before i go because i can't take it with me to london some fresh berries um and then here we have our itinerary for the week and then oh i'm so excited guys this is a little balcony i've yet to open it and then over here we have the bedroom so we've got lots of little goodies here i haven't had a chance to look at any of these yet but i'm seeing an air tag some goodies from the labo definitely need an adapter some cozy cozy socks um yeah i'm excited to get into all this exclusive water bottles some packing cubes something from pangaea i've actually always wanted something from pangaea so i'm very excited to see what's in here i'm not sure what this is so i'm curious to see what this is um but this is essentially the bedroom we've got a lovely little desk area which i will absolutely be utilizing because i got lots of work to do whilst i'm here and then over here we have the bathroom which i am just in love with so we've got two beautiful beautiful sinks and i can already spot all of the Caudalie products let's check them out so what do we got we have a um oh my god there's no english on here <laughs> We've got, it looks like a body lotion, instant foaming cleanser, love that, instant detox mask. This is phenomenal, this is a little spray, super refreshing, oh, and of course, my absolute favorite, Premier Crew cream. We've got a spray, this one is phenomenal, it's so, 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 so refreshing, and an SPF, which I'm really excited about, I've never, ever tried um, any Caudalie SPFs, um, I don't even know if these are actually available in Canada, because Canada is really strict about everything and anything, and so we're not allowed a ton of different products, and SPFs are one of those things that are oftentimes not allowed in Canada, but yeah, and then over here on the other side of the bathroom, we have a shower and a bath, which I'm so excited about all these products over here look phenomenal hello everyone and good morning i am just um sitting out on my little porch which i will show you that is my view how stunning 
My room is through there. I've got the living room through here, and I've got a little seating area here. So I am doing some emails. It is um, day two here at Les Source de Caudalie. And um, I just wanted to do a little bit of catch up because I didn't vlog a whole lot yesterday. Honestly, it was a day full of just kind of getting situated, um, you know, kind of meeting everyone and getting acquainted with everyone. So I really just focused on that. Yesterday I was also extremely tired because I had done a lot of traveling. Um, I was quite jet lagged by the end of the day. I was like, hit the bed and just fell asleep instantly. Um, but this morning I got up nice and early. It was about seven o'clock or so. Um, I guess not too early, but seven o'clock or so, um, got up. I took a nice shower, um, put a comfy little set on, and then walked over to breakfast, to have breakfast with some of the girls, which was super, super nice. I'll show you breakfast tomorrow morning because, oh, like, I love Canada. Canada's great. Don't get me wrong. Someone got mad at me before. I don't hate Canada. I love Canada. But it's not free of faults, like anything. <laughs> but breakfast was wonderful. I had some scrambled eggs and some chia pudding. There are not a lot of dairy-free options. Now, I love dairy. I ate a ton of cheese yesterday, but my stomach was not very happy with me. Um, and I'm, it's funny because I keep seeing like so many TikToks of like, oh, like when I go to Europe and like the cheese doesn't bug my stomach. It, yeah, I think if you're lactose, you're lactose. <laughs> cheese is gonna bug you um dairy is gonna bug you no matter what so unfortunately um it did bug my stomach but um what what can you do i wasn't gonna say no to cheese goat cheese with made from the milk of goats that are literally on this property that is just phenomenal but anyways i'm going off about crazy stuff um today we have a very very chilled out day so like i said i just had breakfast i'm gonna sit down do some work um, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower, do my hair, and then at 10.40, I believe, I have a facial at the spa, so Caudalie facial, which I'm very, very excited about. And then um, we have a lovely, lovely um, lunch picnic in the forest today, which I'm very excited about. Then we've got lots of free time and then a lovely dinner. And then I believe tomorrow we're going to Paris, which um, just seems so surreal, so um, very very excited um but i'm gonna sit down here and um, do a little bit of work that way i can get on with my day i do need to wash my hair i got very greasy i think with traveling it just got very greasy so yeah that's kind of the plan but um yeah i just can't believe how beautiful it is here like it's so quiet going back to canada after this is going to be so 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 hard <laughs> just come into the bathroom I'm going to hop in the shower quickly to um, wash my hair it's looking so dirty and I just want to get it clean but I have to show you um, this body wash so this is the shower gel from Caudalie and it smells unreal like this is coming home with me and I will be purchasing multiple of these because it is literally the best smelling shower gel I have ever used in my life it is so so amazing this is also um for all skin types which is perfect oh it smells so clean it almost smells like a men's cologne and you guys know that that's what i love um so i'm gonna hop in the shower and then um get ready for the day and my facial which i'm very excited about my face is actually already super glowy but i think i'm gonna do a um facial that targets glowiness <laughs> i think that's my my goal so yeah hair is all clean now i'm gonna blow dry my hair and they have dysons here now i've been considering the dyson um oh what's it called i forget the one that like gives you a blow dry or the blow dryer um and um i guess this will be a good little test drive to see if it's worth it um so yeah I am all ready to go to the spa. I put on my green little set again and I actually am wearing a Skims bathing suit. I'll have to show you a little bit later if I can. But these Skims bathing suit are some of the best fitting and just the best bathing suits I've ever tried, honestly, I'm not surprised. But I've got four minutes to check in to the spa, so let's get going. Okay, 
walking to the spa and it is literally the most beautiful just place ever if you're ever looking to get away if you live in paris um this is just the most wonderful wonderful place um there's also the cutest little honeymoon suite which i'll show you and look there's a swan right in front of it so that over there is a little honeymoon suite and there is happens to be a swan right out front for you guys oh so beautiful So this is just a quick pit stop. This is the main chateau. So that's kind of the lobby. And then there are more suites in over here. And then straight ahead, we've got the spa. There's horses over there. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Okay, but I gotta get going. This is a super cool hot water spring tub. They found the hot spring here, so they put a tub in, which is super awesome. And that's the spa right there. So let's go get checked in. on my cheeks so we did a lot and lots of hydration um, so we used lots and lots of hydrating products because she said my skin was actually a little bit sensitive and I've noticed that it was my cheeks have been very red I don't know if it's been the heat here um, but ready to go on the picnic I'm wearing my white sleeper I almost said sleeper this one's actually reformation I'm wearing my white reformation dress um, I believe we're gonna be walking or biking now I'm a hazard on bikes so I think I'm gonna choose to walk um, and then we're gonna just have a really really lovely picnic but um, anyways I'm three minutes late so let's go Here with the beautiful Stephanie, or some of you may know her, Glamzilla. <laughs> Look at how beautiful so she fun. is. We are at our forest picnic, but we just arrived at this little beautiful chateau. I was told it's a little bed and breakfast, but it's like the cutest little thing ever. So that's where we're gonna go.
having some technical difficulties with the wine bottle. <laughs> no. Not, <laughs> no. Emily is just um, wanting everyone to know that she can open a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look, I have too much pressure. <laughs> Stephanie. We're leaving the picnic. I have a full body massage, which I'm very excited about at 3.30. So that's what's on for the rest of the day. It's been really Oh my god, my history self is freaking out inside right now. Oh wow. Oh my god. I want to stay here one day. Oh wow. It just gets prettier and prettier as you keep walking through it. Oh. So they're all sweets then in here? Oh my god. It's like we're in New York. I'm just heading up this beautiful chateau because we are filming something um, with Leave. She has this TikTok in mind um, and she needs me to help. So. I'm gonna go on in here. I am back in the room that you just saw me in because we're filming something fun. So, so essentially she is going to get me to pour wine into her glass, but she is downstairs and I am up here. So this is what happens when you get a bunch of content creators all together. So let's do this. But I'm gonna head down now and meet up with the girls. I almost fell down the stairs because we were going down here last time, so I'm gonna be extra careful. I am just taking a little walk around the chateau. It is so stunning here. Like, I definitely, I think, if I were to come back to France and want it to be in this area, I would without a doubt stay here. I will link this hotel. It's a really niche boutique hotel. Um, I think they only have about nine suites and one room. And it's just so, so stunning. This is just like my dream. I'm like manifesting my future, honestly. Um, I love it. I have always, always loved history and I just want my house to be filled with, I mean, I feel like I'm being a bit of a broken record, but I've always wanted my house to be filled with beautiful, historic, vintage items. I mean, that's just my history background. I want everything to be out of like a 18th century home. I've always, that's always been my like goal in life, I think. And um, I'm telling you guys now, so if I make it happen, you will be the first to hear it. I will have all this. I will have my beautiful, antique looking home it's gonna happen guys i'm i just yeah <laughs> but anyways i think i'm gonna go meet up with the beautiful carling and emily they're both from coda lee i'm just gonna sit down with them for a minute the sun is blaring i probably have like a bit of a sweat stash going on because it's so hot outside um but yeah then i think we're just gonna head back to the um les sources de coda lee and then i believe 
we will be going on a wine tasting held by the owners of the vineyard which is the most exciting thing ever i just got back to my room and um i am going to sit out by the pool for a bit with some of the um oh there's better lighting over there here's good <laughs> um i am going to sit by the pool for a little bit with some of the girls because it's just the most beautifully sunny day today so i'm going to take off my makeup put a new layer of um spf on and go and enjoy the pool because it is just beautiful so that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> all right i'm already i took my makeup off feeling nice and clean and i put on a new sunscreen i'll actually show it to you quickly now for my canadian girlies i am so so sorry but this product is not available in Canada. Mathilde and Caudalie is trying to make a sunscreen that can be allowed in Canada, but I guess Canada is very strict with their sunscreen. Um, they just have a lot of regulations, um, but this is the Caudalie sunscreen that I'm wearing today. It is 50 SPF and it protects you from UVA and UVB rays. Um, it's super lightweight, has no fragrance, um, and it is completely invisible, so it's great for any skin tone. So if you are in Europe, I highly, highly recommend trying this sunscreen out. It is phenomenal. I um, obviously got gifted this one from Caudalie, um, but I'm going to stop at the spa today and pick up two more <laughs> because it is truly, truly so amazing it is such a good sunscreen um so if you're in europe highly highly recommend this caudalie um it also gives you the most beautiful glow which i mean we all want to be glowing goddesses um but anyways um i just wanted to show you that but now let's um head to the pool for a little bit i'm trying to find my bag all right let's go to the pool it is truly the most beautiful day today I oh, can't wait to sit out by the pool for a little bit. I'm very excited. Hello everyone, I'm back in my room now. I just took a nice cold shower. I can, I got a little bit of a tan out there, um, but I'm now going to do a little bit of skincare and my makeup super, super quickly because tonight we are going to the house um, of the vineyard owners, which are Mathilde's parents. So they actually live right on the property um, and we're gonna go to their beautiful, beautiful home tonight um, and get a little bit of a personal wine tour. I've heard that they don't typically do this and that they're quite known in France. So I'm very excited um, for tonight, but I'm gonna quickly get myself ready. I have to do a little bit of filming before we go and um, yeah, so anyways, let's um, get ready. I just wanted to quickly come on here and show you the glow that this Caudalie sunscreen gives me. I've literally like never tried anything like this before, um, but you can just see the glow on my skin. And um, so it's the Vino Sun Ocean Protect. I'll show you the package there. So that's the packaging there. It's 50 SPF and it does protect you from UVA and UVB and um, it's also ocean safe. Um, they actually partnered up to ensure that it is not harming the ocean, which is a great thing as well. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going with my makeup because I have to get going. to go i'm actually wearing an outfit that i have posted on instagram already it's one of my favorite outfits it's this beautiful lily silk shirt with my um holland cooper belt and my karen millard flowy trousers i love flowy trousers obviously because they look good but also because i can eat and i am the type of girl that not only do i want to feel comfortable but i don't ever want to go somewhere and be like oh, i can't eat i can't drink because like my clothes are going to be uncomfortable or I'm going to get bloated. I am, I always want to wear things that I can get bloated in and eat lots and drink lots and <laughs> feel super beautiful and comfortable the entire night. So if you're always wondering why I choose the things that I choose, that's why. <laughs> but anyways, um, I got to get going. So let's go on a wine tour. <laughs> we are on a buggy to our Chateau yeah. wine tour. Okay. So oh, look at
put her nose everywhere. Oh, I love it. His name Hello. is Koda. Koda? There are two. One is Koda and the other is Lee because all together it makes Koda Lee. Koda Lee! <laughs> so this is Koda. Hello! She's very kind. Oh, we're gonna go out. Just wait. I go first. Okay. Yeah, Koda. <laughs> Oh my god! You have to hold this because she's strong. Hello! Hi! You're gonna be the star of the show tonight. in the morning it's really late but I was doing a little bit of editing and packing um, tonight because tomorrow morning we are heading to Paris and I'm very excited um, but I've just had the loveliest two days here in um, in Bordeaux um, again like I said it's just a dream to be able to be here with a brand that I love and with every single creator that is here, um, Leave, there's Dr. Shaw, Stephanie, or some of you may know her as Glamzilla, and of course Michaela. They are just all beautiful, beautiful souls, and all the girls from Caudalie as well are just a dream. It's just, it's so unreal to be surrounded by such amazing people. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm feeling really grateful for this opportunity because it's just been the most amazing thing honestly and this place oh my god I feel like it gets more and more beautiful every single day um, but I am very excited for Paris and I know that I have a lot of followers from Paris which makes me so excited hopefully I get to see some of you whilst I'm there that would just be like the coolest thing ever to meet followers from around the world we were actually chatting today um, during dinner how um, sorry, it wasn't dinner, it was when we were um, by the pool today, how we are all so grateful for um, the opportunity to meet our followers and that it's pretty much all of our favorite thing about this job. Um, it's such a special moment when we get to meet you guys because it's just, I don't know, it's just really special. Um, so yeah. Anyways, I'm very sappy tonight. I'm sorry. I'm just feeling very grateful and just thankful for this entire experience. Um, yeah. But um, today, we had the loveliest time. Now, I don't know if I caught up with you two too much. Again, like this whole trip has been very cramped. So I've been like on the run <laughs> um, just like all the time. But um, we went to... Um, Mathilde, she is the owner of um, Caudalie. We went to her parents' chateau, which is just kind of like on the outskirts of the um, vineyard and the property. And they kindly, kindly took us into their home and we sat um, in their backyard and um, had some wine with them. They had the most beautiful home. I didn't film in there because it was their home and I didn't, I didn't want to invade in their... Um, their privacy but uh, I wish you guys could have seen it it truly was the most beautiful beautiful home um, they are a couple that loves art and um, sculptures so their home was just like everywhere you looked it, there was art and it was the um, the most amazing thing I really just like I wish my home looked like that one day though um, and then we came back and um, had a lovely lovely dinner all together um, we for, we had dinner for like three four hours because it just time flew we were all chatting and talking and having a great time and i mean it always helps when you're surrounded by amazing people so um yeah it was really really great but it is super super late and i need to be up at um six tomorrow because we are leaving at 8 a.m 
to go to Paris. And um, there we will be eating with the owners of Caudalie, founders rather, and then um, on Thursday, I believe Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> We are actually going to the lab to create our own serum, our own Caudalie serum. And I think that is just like the coolest thing ever. I'm like geeking out about it, which I think that's just so, so cool <laughs> um, to kind of see, you know, the process of everything. Um, and then I get to fly to London. Um, I feel like this has been a, a Europe trip that I never would have imagined. I'd have a chance to, um, to go on. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy and excited and thankful. So tomorrow we'll be taking the train into Paris and I'm sure it'll be the most lovely, lovely train ride. But um, I'm gonna stop chatting and um, get to bed. Yeah, I'm essentially pretty much packed for tomorrow. I actually um, will be needing to buy a, another carry-on or just luggage in, um, in Paris tomorrow. Because I only brought one carry-on, my thought process here was I'd have one carry-on for France and then my parents and boyfriend who are coming later meeting me in London will kindly <laughs> bring my big checked-in bag with them just because I had a layover. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm so tired. Um, but um, so my parents would bring that over because I didn't I was really afraid to check in a bag because I had a layover in Paris before I flew from Paris to Bordeaux and honestly I was so afraid that that bag wasn't going to make it onto my next flight and in fact one of the girls here, um, her bag didn't make it so she's had no clothes, no nothing, um, thankfully she had I think two outfits in her carry-on with her but she really doesn't have anything and I just, oh that really sucks and I, I feel so so bad for her but um, yeah, it's um, that's kind of what I was trying to prevent. Um, it just means that I have very, very little space. In fact, this is my carry on here, and I know it's on the bed and that I'm not sleeping on that side, but um, it's pretty much packed. Um, and thankfully, these base um, um, or bay um, suitcases do have little extenders, which are not a concern because I'm not going on a plane, um, but because it but do know. If you are going to get these bags that if you do extend them they will not fit in air canada like compartments so just be aware um but yeah this is my carry-on that needs to be packed and that bottle of wine right there she's coming with me but essentially the reason i need another bag is because totally kindly gifted me um, a bunch of products which I mean a lot of them are already like favorites of mine but I cannot um, put them in my carry-on because they're bigger than 100 ml so I will need to check those products in and um, yeah so I also want to do maybe like a little bit of shopping in, in Paris so I'm just gonna find a place to <laughs> buy a bag which should be totally fine um, tomorrow or Thursday but I'm very, very tired, so I am going to call it for this video. And I will be making a part two of my time in Paris. So, yeah, anyways, good night, and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.